Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Under Siege 2 Dark Territory. And this movie came out in 1995 and it's a sequel to the first Under Siege movie which I personally did not like. And this one was much worse. <laughs> and in ways more entertaining, not because it's good, but rather it is so bad that it, it is funny to me. And Unfortunately, the funny bad stuff isn't really present in the movie all too much. It's mostly in the second half of the movie. The first half is kind of dull, boring, and really stupid. But once you get to that second half, it's pretty funny to me. And the last act especially is hilarious. And the action sequences in this movie, some of them are okay. But one thing that really bothers me about them is that the laws of physics in this movie just don't apply at all and you see like a train crashing into another train and you think it would be like causing like a serious damage to the people on board the train but it does at one point but as it keeps going forward going on and on and on it keeps coming back outside to let you know what is going on from the outside and you see steven seagal about to like jump out of the train because it's pretty much just about to go down into the river because it's being crashed on a bridge and the way it was executed it just looked so bad and that's just one example about the laws of physics just not existing in this movie and it's everything is just so weird and there's some editing choices that are really bad and and there are certain action sequences where it's just a bunch of close shots and you can't really make out too much of what's going on and the comedy in this movie uh, falls completely flat I never found it funny and the majority of the acting was pretty bad and Jonathan Banks say uh, he did fine in the movie he was a side character one of the antagonists of the film and he's okay but he's not really given much and Steven Seagal he's really bland and it doesn't add much to the movie. The villain is over the top and ridiculous and goofy. And whenever he was on screen, I was just laughing and really enjoying it because of, of how stupid he was. And I got a huge kick out of it. And I was really entertained. And the music in this movie was uh, very repetitive. And uh, they just kept playing the same theme over and over and over again. And it was kind of annoying. And... Uh, it wasn't good either, and uh, that really did not help out my experience, and there's like barely anything to like about it. The only things uh, that I kind of like are the funny bad moments, and some of the stunt work was well done, but that was about it, and our main character is uh, just really uninteresting and boring, and he's invincible throughout this entire movie, and at one point he gets shot, but uh, he goes around uh, just uh, saying like, you think this is shot? This is nothing. Like, I've been shot before. So it's like, okay, so it, his injury is not even affecting him all that much. And it's like, he might as well not have been shot and the movie would be no different. It's like watching an invincible person just pull off all of these things and it's just not interesting. And it's really trying to be diehard in this movie, but it's just ignoring everything that made that movie work so well. And I mentioned uh, the villains being really over the top in this movie, but really just about every character is like that in this movie. And it's kind of like a Roland Emmerich movie where everything is really cartoonish. Uh, you don't feel any stakes in the movie. And the special effects are bad and there's just nothing to like about it really. And that's how I felt with the, about this. Bad special effects, uh, bad action sequences, bad characters, bad music, just bad everything really. And it just gets everything wrong. <laughs> and it is kind of entertaining to watch a movie just get all these things wrong. And watching a movie where the laws of physics just don't apply. <laughs> and for that, it's kind of entertaining. But I don't know if I would recommend this movie as a so bad it's good movie. Because that first half is really cheesy and boring. And it's... But the second half is really, really funny. <laughs> Once it gives screen time to the villains, then it's funny. <laughs> but the rest of it is just really boring and...
Overall, I would say I enjoyed about half of the movie. The other half, I can live without. So, unfortunately, I cannot recommend that you check this movie out. It's not worth your time. So, with all that being said, I'm going to give Under Siege 2 Dark Territory a 2 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Under Siege 2 Dark Territory and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Blue Jasmine. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.